Hello, my name is Faisal Khan. I'm a banking and a payment consultant. I want to talk today about something called build your own bank as a service. Now, this may be a concept where we, you know, putting together two things, build your own bank and, you know, bank as a, banking as a service or bank as a service. What does this mean and why is it important for you if you are a money transfer company? Well, you know, where are money transfer companies, remittance companies heading now? They've done the payment route. They're having a lot of competition from the large players, the neo players who are coming in. Some of the incumbents are giving them a hard time. It's very difficult for them to survive. And more and more, we keep listing that, you know, money transfer companies are trying to look for more innovative products, more, more uh, value added products. And one of the things that they are seeing is that a wallet starts to make sense for them. So what they're doing is they are investing in a wallet system. They're making a wallet, they're investing in technology so that their users have the ability to go on their mobile app and load money onto it and then be able to send it. But that's just one iconic aspect of it. You know, there are many other icons in an app. And the other things that they're looking at is, okay, how can they make payments? How can they do bill payments? How can they, you know, pay their rent? How can they buy gift cards? How can they do a mobile top up and so forth? And so on and so forth. These services are starting to look like or assemble like what a pseudo bank would look like, what a neo bank would look like. And a lot of money transfer companies, the ones that we interact with anyways, are now seeking ways of how they can become exactly that because they, they sort of understand that, you know, the traditional money transfer business is sort of leveled out. Okay. So they feel that making money in that traditional aspect is going to be tough. It's not that it's not, they're not making money, they're making money, but it's going to be getting more tough and tough because of the peer pressure they would have around them where, you know, uh, additional services are coming up and they're still at the same time you know the tide is rising and you know they're not rising with it and they need to do that so what does it mean for them in in clear terms they need to invest in becoming and rather pivoting uh, I would use the word they would like to they would like to pivot in becoming a neo bank a, a banking as a service you know where, when, when I say build your own bank bring your own bank as a service and that's exactly what these people are looking at money transfer companies are now saying okay how can I have an app how can I have an IBAN how can I have a DDA number where people can load up how can I have something where not only can they send money back home but they can also um, you know exchange money amongst each other how can I have native apps that you know where for example I can pay someone in PayPal or I can pay someone in the Europe in SEPA region or I can pay someone in you know uh, in, in in the UK using faster payments and so forth how can I buy cinema tickets how can I have such that I can get a, a pre a debit card based on my account where my balance is so I can go and spend my money you know at a visa or a MasterCard location so more and more pressure is now coming to these companies to build their own neo bank and the, and the cool thing is they don't you know maybe 10 years ago they had to invest in a in, in a very expensive infrastructure to even realize this dream today that is not the case today there are enough disparate i use the word disparate and i'll explain that there are enough disparate fintech solution providers to offer this the goal is to try to make sure that that disparateness can somehow be stitched together as a single offering and that is why we came up with this concept of you know bring your own bank as a service or build your own bank as a service rather than going and finding a card issuer finding an iban provider finding a processor finding extended licensing finding bill payment solutions finding card or merchant accounts finding you know uh, uh, additional networks to go and pay out to etc we just bundle it as one so what you have is a unified layer for a money transfer company that offers you the ability to uh, you know extend a uh, let's say a pseudo bank service to your clients and another thing that you have to understand that you know clients will now be either they'll tell you or if they don't then they'll force you to get these products and services. And if you don't, well, guess what? 
the alternative just might be one step away from them and they will go sign up with some additional service and get it from there. So as a money transfer company, you have to look at things, okay, I am not a, first of all, stop thinking of yourself as a money transfer company. You are now more than just a money transfer company. You're a payments company. You are a banking company. You're a value transfer company. So start thinking along those lines. Start thinking along value and transfer. How can you add value? How can you bring transfer to your clients? So when you start thinking along those lines, you will then start thinking, of, okay, how can I have more correspondent networks? How can I have a greater reach with the same amount of restrictions that I have? Launching a neo bank or you know BYOB AAS as a you know build your own bank as a service today is much much more economical than what it was let's say even five years ago forget about forget about ten years ago ten years ago you maybe had to pay a 200 300 thousand pounds just to launch something like this in its very basic setup today the launch price is much much less You're probably looking around the 40 30 to 40 sometimes even 50 thousand pound range or euro range it depends where you are but banking as a service Today, it makes much more sense and will continue to make sense. And it, it really allows you to have client retention, loyalty and retention from your customers. It allows you to then think along the lines that you are much more than simply a money transfer company. If you would like to discuss this more, if you are an existing money transfer company and would like to get a you know, free opinion with us, you know we are happy to discuss this with you. You can schedule a 15 minute telephone call. The link is in the description below. As always, if you just feel like writing to us or have a comment or a suggestion, there's a contact form in the description below. Please fill it out and we'd be happy to review it and get back to you. Till next time, Faisal Khan signing off.